I'm, oh my, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So now I'm gonna add some lashes. I'm using Jade 13, Huda Beauty. So that's, oh my gosh. Okay, wait a second. Riri came with the pigments. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a video all about these new Fenty products, you guys. We are going to see how they pan out how they do and i just wanted to take this opportunity to just watch some things for you guys to really show you the collection and my opinion of everything while also doing a look i have no idea what look i'm doing yet i'm just gonna play with this stuff and come up with whatever we're gonna come up with but before we get started i'm gonna go ahead and start on my face i'm going to moisturize first the moisturizer I'm using is this one from Fresh. You guys have seen me use this before. It's my go-to daytime moisturizer. It's like just so good. And I'm going to just massage that into my skin, you know? You gotta prep your skin before makeup really well. It makes a huge difference with the way that everything lays, especially if you tend to have drier skin or combo skin, um, I have more, I would say, combo dry, but I mean, it kind of changes throughout the year. So I've kind of gotten into this routine of just like always making sure I moisturize really well. And I haven't had any huge skin issues since I started doing that. So I'm like leading with moisture in my skincare routine instead of like, Cleanse this, that, that, you know? I just think of moisture, 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 moisture. It's been working for me. And since I picked up all these new Beach Please products, I picked up some more foundation also. My color before was like, I wanna say it was in the high 300s because it was a little too light for me when I first got it. But I did order it um, online, so I didn't actually swatch it before. So I don't necessarily know in the, I'm in the 300s, okay? But sometimes I have issues trying to figure out which color I am. But I just got this at Sephora, um, when? Like yesterday? So hopefully this one actually matches me better. I tried it in the store. So let's just hope that it does what I need it to do. Oh, finally. I feel like I've been struggling with color matching. And I just am also super tan. So a lot of my colors and stuff weren't really working for me. Also, you guys, I'm in the middle of like halfway filming a hair tutorial and halfway filming this video. So that's why my hair is like setting, which my my scarf is like coming off my head at this point, but whatever. I just need it to set um, while we do this so that the final look for both videos are popping. <laughs> I think I finally got the color right, which this looks good. Low key, I miss myself with all black hair. I like hid my ombre in this braid and i'm like whoa not that i look like a different person but i'm like why do i feel like i look different and i keep it's i feel like it's this braid okay so foundation is finished looks really good like i said moisturizing beforehand does wonders so i got a few of the new matchsticks colors and i got the color truffle, which is like what I'm gonna use to contour. I also got a uh, chili mango, which is like this orange one. And then I also got cinnamon, which is a like bronzy color with some shimmer in it. And then I also got, because I couldn't resist it, this like really, really light lilac color. And I just couldn't, take it because i've been seeing all the posts of like everyone using these highlighters or these uh matchsticks in different ways for like contouring and highlighting and putting color all over it i'm like oh i want to try this so bad so i had to get this one because it just has a crazy color look at that that's crazy so i was like i have to I have to try it, I have to. And it's like easily blendable, so you can like blend it out to like soften it. But isn't that pretty? 
wow it's so pretty and that's what i like the fact that you can blend it out so it's not too harsh um and you can like build it up take it down all that kind of stuff so yeah and then i also got some of the new kilowatt foils so the first one that i got here is the sand castle and minted mojito combo and this is this one here now at first you guys again i was not gonna get this because i'm like when am i gonna wear this but i'm gonna show you why i had to get it so i'm gonna swatch this sand castle look at that what i barely like look i barely i'm barely putting this on and it's like ah look at that that's crazy like bruh Come on now. Riri came with the pigment. So then I'm going to swatch this blue color minted mojito, which again, another one I would not see myself wearing. Like I would not wear this. And I'm going to put that one right next to Sandcastle. Look at that. How intense is that color? I could totally see myself wearing this as an eyeshadow instead of just like a highlight or something, but so I had to, I had to, even though it's not, it's definitely not like an everyday type <laughs> color or palette, but it's definitely one that it, it's special. You kind of have to have it in your collection. And I feel like that's what a lot of this stuff is. A lot of it, I don't see myself wearing on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's just like, man, I have to have it. And I usually don't get that way with products. Honestly, I don't. I, I get so much stuff sent to me on a regular basis that I'm like, oh, okay, like this is cute. Like this works. Like this is nice. This works, you know, but these products excited me. And that is really hard to do now for me, like doing what I do that's really hard so the fact that I'm still happy that I bought all this is a good thing right so this is the sangria sunset and mimosa sunrise which is the one that I initially thought I was only gonna get I thought I was only gonna get this one because I just loved these two colors together this is the mimosa sunrise which is just gorgeous it's a little bit more calm and chill than um minted mojito you know but I just added a little bit more look at that that is gorgeous and then this one is the Sangria Sunset. I'm going to put this one right next to it. Just beautiful. Beautiful. I just added a little bit more. And see, the great thing about these foils is that they're almost creamy and they're not glittery. And I hate glittery highlighters like that is just my pet peeve because I'm like, I don't want to walk around here with glitter on my face. Like that's just not my wave but i love that these are just very smooth and just have like a real luminous look to them so i got that one and then i also got the seven day weekend and poolside which is similar to the minted mojito and sandcastle like blue colors but this one i think is oh these are purples so there's going to be like this darker purplish blue color and then this one is like a lighter purple. So I'm going to first swatch. This is the seven day weekend. Oh, oh man. Wow. And this one is like a little bit more icy. So it would probably look really good on top of this matchsticks, the confetti matchsticks for sure. And then this one is the poolside. which is also just beautiful. Look at that. Just gorgeous. Oh, okay. So yeah, so I got all three of them. For today's look, I think I'm going to really go for it and not do the one that I thought I was going to do, which was the um, Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset one. I think I'm going to play with conf the Confetti Matchsticks and maybe even that last one, the... Um, the seven day weekend and uh, poolside one. So that's what we're gonna use today. I'm gonna use this and then I'm gonna use confetti. Oops. And I'm gonna try to stay within that vibe too. So I also got both of the lip luminizer trios. And so 
Initially, I tried this first one. This one is called Single out of this trio. And I put a shade on my lips. Not a look, okay? Not cute. But I know that um, these are really great toppers. So if you have lip gloss, or not lip glosses, but lipsticks that you really enjoy and you want to add some sheen or a different kind of like look to them, these are really good for that. So you kind of have to play with like the idea of the color wheel almost to make sure that you're complementing the right colors with one another. So say if you have like a, a red lip, you would not want to put this on your red lip. But you would want to put maybe this orange one on the red to give it a different vibe you know so playing with those aspects and since we're playing in that realm i think i'm gonna stick with like the purples and pinks and blues that's the vibe so i just grabbed this um vey cray one i think i'm gonna lead with this one we'll see let's just we're gonna just start putting stuff on oh um and while we're there i also got some of the island bling i got the one that has the summer fling and rainbow so this is that one and i feel like this one was definitely gonna work better for me because of you know my skin tone and stuff and this i could see myself wearing all the time because it's golden brown bronzy and y'all know i always do like gold looks so I'm not going to use this today only because I am going with like a more icy unicorn type look. But I'm just going to show you what this looks like swatch. So this is the, ooh, that's pretty. So that's, oh my gosh. Okay, wait a second. Oh man, now I want to use this. Ugh. Okay, that was the brown color on this one. And then, and these are eyeshadows, by the way. These are eyeshadow um I don't know what they're technically called. Eye shimmers, liquid eye shimmers. So then I'm gonna do this one, wow, okay. Whoa, you see that one? Whoa. Now in person, it actually looks kind of a uh, PC and almost as if it's not supposed to be. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it on camera, I'll try to show you, but this one, can you see if I hit that angle? You see how it looks like it's coming apart? The brown one doesn't look like that in person. It looks like it's separating. So I don't really know how much I like that. Um, maybe not a good sign. I don't know. But I mean, on camera, it looks like flawless. Like you can't see it. And I don't know, maybe once you've like set it and put it on top of something, you wouldn't see the see-through part, if that makes sense. So I think that's one that you definitely got to like put it on top of something. But the brown one you could wear by itself. So now I need to go ahead and highlight and contour. So I'm going to use truffle to do that. And I will say that this is kind of dry. So it's, it doesn't blend as good as I would want it to. So if you feel like you need a little bit more um, blending power, you can always add like an oil or something on top of it to help. But see, it's blending out nicely. I was using this yesterday and it wasn't blending for me. So I don't know if it was uh, just my beauty blender wasn't... Um, moist enough but see you can still see the line and I don't want to see that so maybe I just got to take more time I think the color is great and the payout is great but I wish it would just blend a little bit better it's blending decently I'm gonna go ahead and add some to my nose actually before I do my nose I'm actually gonna do highlight which I probably should have done highlight first but whatever I didn't grab a matchsticks like in a highlight color so I'm just gonna use my Urban Decay um, concealer to highlight which low-key I could have honestly left this look unhighlighted um, for a different vibe but I'm just gonna go ahead and add it I'm actually going to spray my Beauty Blender with this fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Water. I don't even know if this is out yet, technically. It, this might not be available yet, but um, it will be soon if it isn't out yet. Um, it will be soon, I promise. So I'm just going to spray because I know that um, 
this foundation or this con concealer is really kind of heavy too. It's like very full coverage. So I want to just make sure I've got some moisture in there, which I probably should have sprayed that before I blended my contour too. That probably would have helped. Ooh, we are real highlighted today. We are real highlighted. You guys, I'm so tan. So my highlighter, I honestly would not reach for a highlight this light because I just usually don't go for that kind of look. But I guess this is what we got today. And I'm, I'm, I like it, don't get me wrong, but it is like slightly, slightly lighter than what I usually do. Y'all tell me how you like it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my nose contour. Good. I'm gonna just blend that out as well. Actually, I'm gonna take a smaller brush, like a clean brush. So now we are all highlighted and contoured. I'm gonna go ahead and set everything with this um, Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder, which I just started using this and I really, really like it. It's super soft and like sets really nicely. So I'm just gonna pack here and here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fix my brows, which I'm not really doing a lot with my brows lately. You guys know I've been rocking the whole natural look and letting them really just <laughs> grow out and do their own thing. So I'm gonna stay with that vibe and just use my Bobbi Brown um, gel for my brows and just basically put them in place. Sorry if you guys hear random little noises. Bolt is right behind me um, or walking around me. He was sleeping this whole time and now he is awake. So if you hear anything in the background, that's probably him. Someone was just ringing my doorbell and I'm like, I'm filming, I'm not home. And they rang it like two times. I'm like, this is more important <laughs> than answering the door. <laughs> okay, so brows are good. I'm, what am I gonna do with my eyes? I think I'm gonna do the whole, bring in the look with confetti. So I'm gonna use the matchsticks because you can use this in multiple ways. So I'm gonna put some on my lid and I'm just freestyling it, you guys. I don't even know what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna, which actually that looks really good. It's like subtle. I mean, purple has already looked good up against like brown eyes and brown skin. So I already know this look is gonna be, ah. <laughs> So then I'm gonna take some of this kilowatt foil and I'm gonna take, let's see, let's take some of the pool side, which is like the darker blue-ish, and put that in the corner, cause you know, we love depth. So we wanna make sure we got that. I actually wanna bring it all the way. I actually want this all over my lid, it's so pretty. So we're doing it all over. And that matchsticks cream helps it stick too, so. That was a good move. Boom, ooh, that is a pretty color. Yes, okay, so I'm gonna take some of the other side, which is Seven Day Weekend, and I'm gonna put that in my inner eye tear duct area. Oh, so pretty. Y'all, I would never reach for this color for my eyes, but now that it's on, I am loving it. The look is so pretty. I'm taking some more of um, Seven Day Weekend um, underneath in this area too. So now I'm gonna add some lashes. I'm using Jade 13. 
cutie beauty. <laughs> I saw these at Sephora and I was like, oh my gosh, these are the last pair and they have my name on them. I think it's meant to be. All right, so we have lashes on, which really kind of pulls everything together. So I'm gonna actually add this Urban Decay <laughs> bolt. So loud. I'm gonna add this Urban Decay uh, Glide On Eye Pencil. This is in the color LSD, which is like a dark blue shimmer. So I'm gonna add this on my bottom waterline. I actually changed my mind. I think I'm gonna add some concealer to my brows because I want my brow bone to be highlighted. And I'm actually gonna highlight my brow bones with Sandcastle from this other uh, Kalev Watt foil, a uh, little duo palette. See, look at that. Ooh. My gosh. We are gonna just be on another level of glow in this look. Like, on another level. This color really picks up. Actually gonna take some of my bronzer, which I'm gonna be using this shade Casino from NARS, and I'm going to just finish off the rest of my face. I actually wanna use this Chili Mango for my blush highlight. I think the two colors are going to look really good together. So let's just, we're just going to go for it, all right? We're just going for it. I'm going to do that and then I'm just going to blend it out basically. Blends really nicely to the other side. I'm actually almost going exactly where I just contoured with my bronzer and just blending it. All right. Okay, we got some color there. And I'm gonna go in with You know what? I'm done. I have the brush. I'm not even using it. Let me change brushes and actually use the one that's meant for this part. Simone. Can you I, hear me? No, I, I can now. I gotta call you back. I'm literally filming right now. Oh, okay. Bye. bye. So I'm gonna go in with... Where is it? With the Mimosa um, Sunrise. And I'm gonna put that on top of where we kind of put the other, the chili mango. Because we're kind of just like mixing these two together. That together. And on this side. I actually really like this brush. It actually has a interesting angle to it that fits your face really nice. And I'm actually gonna do that uh, I'm gonna do, hmm, I'm gonna do seven day weekend on top as like the actual highlight highlight. Which just is gorgeous. You talk about glow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Talk about glow. Yes. This is what I wanted, Riri. This is what I wanted. Oh gosh, I love, love, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, let me put some on my nose. I'm using the seven day weekend again. 
which I actually, I was so close to not buying this palette and I'm so glad I did now because I've used it the most for this whole look. All right, y'all. And then I'm gonna take my fan brush and take Sand Castle since that was like the most um, kind of, not colorless, but gold-ish color. And I wanna highlight like my head area, the front of my head, just for a little something there on those highlight areas. Ooh, the glow is real low, okay, real shit. Hey guys, we're gonna keep going with like this super bright look. I really wanted to use one of these, so I'm gonna actually do just this gloss first to kind of see what it looks like. I actually want to do this purple. There's so many colors, I don't know. I'm actually gonna use this one. This is Mermaid Thighs. So I'm just gonna use it by itself and see what it looks like. But I also have, where is it? I also have one of the lipsticks in the shade Candy Venom. And it's one of her, I think it's the Mademoiselle lipstick. So kind of going back and forth between those two. So let's see what this one looks like first. Oh wow. Okay, no. I mean, all right, let's keep putting it on and see. Mm -mm. This is definitely a topper. Definitely a topper. And not going to work for this look right now. Um, let's do... I think really these are made to be on top of lipsticks. They're really sheer. I tested out the um, shade Single, and that one was really sheer. Let me see. This one is... Day Cray, which was what I was originally going to wear by itself. Ooh, that's pretty. Now, this is a good shade by itself. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's really pretty. It's got, like, a gold undertone to it, so if you've got, like, a gold look going on or, like, a golden goddess bronzy look, this would be super cute by itself. But since we've got more icy tones and not necessarily gold, it's not gonna work for this look, so I'm gonna use this instead, which is this super bright pink. So we're just like going all color today, all color. Which I'm already loving it. I'm already loving it. I'm already loving it. Now, I will say though, this is a very small, lipstick for the price um i think there is a lot of lipsticks on the market that could give you this shade um for a cheaper price so i don't know if this is necessarily one that i would like get again because i feel like there's so many lipsticks out there that are like the same texture the same color but it is pretty so um i'm not mad sorry y'all my mic went out it's back on now. I feel so 80s today. Like, I mean, I picked this jacket out to wear in this video because I knew I was going to do like lavender purple. So I was trying to like, you know, color coordinate. But now I feel real 80s, but I'm not mad because I kind of like the vibe. I will say the texture and formula of this is really nice. Like it looks really matte, but it's so soft and like creamy on my lips. I think that it's going to actually last a long time. I'm, oh my God. Uh, uh, uh. Y'all, I'm done. I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting my hair together and my accessories and whatnot and finish out this video. All right, y'all. This is the final look. How do you like? How do you like? I haven't done a really bold and like colorful look in so long. And these products really inspired me to go there like to really go for it i almost want to add more of maybe this i don't know maybe some purple let's see where is my purple kind of want to add sangria sunset in this area because i feel like it just needs a little bit more color so i'm just gonna like add that on top which actually does something for me Oh, it just, and that's what I love too about these products. You can like work them together to like add a different dimension. So like everything doesn't have to look the same. 
as if you only used one, like what? One um, highlight. You guys see that? Do y'all see that? Oh my gosh. I want more. I want more. I want more. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And like in a person, y'all, this doesn't look crazy. Like it's picking up on camera so nicely. And that's how I know these products are really great because you can build it up and make it as dramatic and just like out there as you want, but you can also tone it down and play with different colors that you might have not put together. Like before this look, I would have never put this eyeshadow with this lip because I felt like it would be too much. But the way everything is just like blending together, oh, I'm like, I'm so here for it. I'm so here for it. I really, I mean, I was kind of like, oh, I'm spending a lot of money buying these products. But honestly, like they live up to the hype. I love everything that I got. Um, the only thing that I probably wouldn't get again would be the different luminizer trios because I feel like I kind of don't know what I want to do with them yet because I don't necessarily want to wear them by themselves except for the which one was it except for this one this is the ver verke <laughs> vacre I would wear this by itself but other than that those really didn't do a lot for me and I mean let me go ahead and swatch them for you while I'm talking about them because I low-key forgot this was a review for a second. So this one is the Ready to Mingle shade, which is actually really pretty. It's a really pretty gloss. And see, like, I definitely feel like these are great toppers. Like, they're not really, um, I think they're, they don't have enough weight to them to wear alone except for that one, like, um, light glossy pink one but these would be so pretty on top of like another shade or like a nude lip or something then you'd really get the payout so this one is bilingual yeah bilingual I don't know but this is that orange color ooh that's pretty you guys can't really see it here but it's got a really nice coral sheen to it and you can kind of see it there. See, they're really good um, luminizers, I guess, is, is correct because they just luminize, you know, the look. So I'll complete this one by adding a single, which is in this pack. And it actually gives a really pretty, like, iridescent blue, but still kind of purple at the same time, depending on what angle you look at it. So those are really pretty. They're just, they're just, I think if you are somebody that doesn't really go for bright colors, they can kind of be a little intimidating, but I feel like the longer you kind of play with them, the more you can kind of see how you can work it into your routine because they are really pretty. But this is the ne next pack. So this is the, um, well, I don't know which one was which. I think one is summer, oh, one is summer days and another is summer nights. So I think this one is the summer, yeah, this pack I'm about to show you now is summer nights, which actually has the uh, Vey Cray in it. So I'll do Vey Cray first by itself, even though you guys already kind of saw it on my lips. Let's see, that's Vey Cray. You know, it's got that gold undertone to it, gold sheen to it. Then this one is, Snake skin, which is really pretty, kind of like a deeper single almost, because the the undertones are still gold, but they're like a dark purple too. See, like on this angle, you can kind of see how dark it is, but then when you flip, oh, I love that! I love that. Okay, cool. And then the last one in this pack is the mermaid thighs the one that we tried that didn't you know didn't really work for us but it's got a really pretty see it's even more of like a deeper turquoise color but still super pretty uh very different though so not as wearable on the go user friendly i think you definitely have to kind of build up the confidence to rock these for sure but 
They are definitely a great addition to your makeup kit if you are trying to like step out of your comfort zone and like try something different these are great for that and then i mean honestly this whole collection is really playing up a lot of current trends and colors and things like that so they're an easy way to step into color and to step into maybe unknown territory for yourself but as you can see you guys we just created this whole beautiful look with all these products and i couldn't be more happy um with everything so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it wasn't too long i feel like i've been filming for a long time but i was filming other videos at the same time as this so maybe i'm just tripping but i hope it wasn't too long for you guys and i hope you enjoyed this type of review let me know if you want to see another or more videos like this one don't forget to like and subscribe down below and i will see you in the next one bye Look at that. That's crazy. Like, bruh, come on now. Riri came with the pigments.